So, last week, Uncle Jake said Mark needs to show Nathan the warrior kid path. He needs to lead. But first of all, he needs to become friends with Nathan. How on earth is he going to do that? Let's find out. Chapter 16 The Real Plague Face. Today was different. During my workout this morning with Uncle Jake, I asked him how I was supposed to lead Nathan. I couldn't just walk up to him and say, Do what I tell you. That wouldn't work. Uncle Jake agreed. That definitely won't work, Uncle Jake said. That kind of leadership isn't real leadership. Sure, if you were in charge of someone and you order them to do something, that might work at first, but it won't last. Real leadership comes by forming relationships with people, by becoming friends with people. Then they will listen to you because they want to, not because they have to. So I have to become friends with Nathan? Well, you are at least going to have to try. How am I going to be friends with someone who makes fun of me every chance he gets? I asked Uncle Jake. I was starting to suspect that maybe he hadn't thought this idea all the way through. Uncle Jake then asked me, Has he ever punched you? This was a strange question. No, I told Uncle Jake. What about Kate? Has he ever kicked you? No, Uncle Jake. He has never kicked me. What about slapped or scratched or bit you? No, he hasn't. Okay then, Mark. What has he done to you? This question had me quiet for a minute. What had Nathan done to me? I could barely remember when it all started. Well, he makes fun of me. He calls me names. Oh yeah, that's right, Uncle Jake said, smiling. Plague face. That's not funny, Uncle Jake, I told him. Well, maybe you don't think so, but it is kind of funny. Not really, I told him again. You might think it was funny if you didn't take it so seriously. Think about it. Your face is a little roundish and a little flat, like a plate. So, plate face. If you just let it be funny, you would see that it is funny. But you're being too sensitive about it. A warrior can't let a little name calling upset them. Warriors have some important things to be concerned about. Things that matter. Someone making fun of you or calling you a name isn't important enough. Just deal with it and move on. Okay, but it annoys me. How do I just deal with it? That's the easy part. You just laugh. Laugh. Laugh along with the joke. Instead of getting mad, just think of it from a different perspective and laugh. And here is another secret. Not only will laughing make you feel better, it will also take away the power of the insult. People make fun of other people to feel powerful. As soon as you laugh at yourself, you take that power away from them. Try it, you'll see. Okay, Uncle Jake, I'll try it. The next day at camp, after a kickball in the morning, we had an art project to do. I figured that this was as good a time as any to try and make friends with Nathan. So I sat at the same table as him. I think this kind of surprised him because he looked at me in a strange way for a minute. There wasn't much time to talk because we were doing individual projects. As soon as we sat down, the counselor told us to be quiet and start listening. The counselor said we were going to draw a self-portrait, which is a picture of yourself. As soon as I heard this, I had an idea, an idea that would help me become friends with Nathan and help me laugh at myself. So I drew a picture of myself, but instead of drawing myself the way I actually look, I drew myself as plate face. I made my face a giant plate with my hair and eyes, but in the shape of a plate. Then I added a little body, which made it look even funnier. When I finished it, I whispered to Nathan, Hey Nathan, check this out. I held up the picture. Nathan burst out laughing. When he started laughing so hard, I started laughing too. It was hilarious. The real plate face, I told him. That's awesome, he said back. 
you are a great artist because that looks just like you. We started laughing even harder, and that was it. I no longer felt bad about being called plate face, and Nathan could tell that it didn't bother me anymore. I didn't know you were so funny, Mark. He said. That was it. He called me Mark. That must have been the first time he called me by my real name in a year. But more important, it now seemed like I had a new friend. Number one. What method did Uncle Jake tell Mark to try so that Mark will not be annoyed by Nathan calling him plate face? That's right. Uncle Jake told Mark not to take unimportant things so seriously and not to be too sensitive about them. He advised Mark to laugh at these things and just let it be funny, and Mark would see that plate face can be funny and laughable. Number two. According to Uncle Jake, what is the relationship between laughing and the power of insult? That's right. Laughing will make one feel better, and it would also take away the power of insult. Yeah, something we should all remember and try. Number three. What idea did Mark has that would help him become friends with Nathan and help Mark laugh at himself? Mark thought of an idea of drawing a plate face as his self-portrait instead of drawing what he actually looks. What a brilliant idea! Number four, do you think Nathan will keep calling Mark plate face now that he know it didn't bother him anymore? <laughs> Comment down below what you think. What is the significance of Nathan calling Mark by his real name? It is very significant because Nathan has never called Mark by his real name in a year. It seems very likely that Nathan is willing to be Mark's friend from now on. I don't know about you, but I've had my fair share of time where I had people making me feel bad, not so much as insulting me per se, but definitely say things that upset me or make me doubt myself. All the negative feelings that instantly derive from other people's words. It's almost like natural reflex that I'll feel annoyed, then irritated, and eventually lost my control of my temper. I wish I had read books like this, taught me how to control my emotions and how to be in control of my emotions. It's one thing to be emotional, and it's entirely another to pass that ability to someone else to have full control of your emotions. I'm grateful to learn from Uncle Jake and Mark's experience with Nathan that a simple laugh will break any power of insult. If that happens to you too, my friends, I know laughing will be the last thing you want to do, but it seems to make sense. This is a very powerful and meaningful chapter for me, and I hope you also find it useful and that you've learned something from it. Being a teacher and living my life up to this point, I realize that there are so many life skills that one needs to know and hopefully have when cruising through life. Being able to see from different perspectives really opens up my horizons and the potential possibilities. I also learn how important it is to have the right mindset. With that being said, remember Mark has been putting a lot of time into his bike. Something big's gonna happen to it. What will it be? You have to find out next week. But I can tell you for now that it's gonna change Mark so much that even he didn't believe it. Until then, have a nice week.